don't believe this test is going to come out too well. Hmm. I should probably go put that 2x on there. Shift. Let's try to get a clip. This is really bad. Drowned. Well, hello there. Here we are up here in northeastern Ohio on Thursday, the 26th of September, 2019. It's now 8.19 p.m. And we were out taking photographs with the Canon 90D. And after I go in and check them out and process the images in Lightroom Classic, I'll, uh, probably be showing those right here <laughs> but it's been a while since I had the Canon 80D out with the Tamron 18 to 400 millimeter lens and we're on digital zoom right at the moment of the uh, 10x and the moons of Jupiter came out pretty well but um, Jupiter itself is not <laughs> I don't even know if I can do a stacking with this Oh, by the way, I do have a 1.4x Kenko teleconverter on there to try to get a little bit more reach, but I should have put the 2x on. But that's not going too well, so I'm going to try to eh, check out Saturn while we're here with this. Hmm. Okay, where are you, Saturn? <laughs> wow, we have the ISO up quite high. All right, I'll mess around here and be back in a few. Okay, there we go. We finally got it pretty much in focus, I think, and done messing around with settings and all that good stuff. <laughs> so there's a look at our ring planet there on the ADD and the 10x in-camera digital zoom it offers with that Tamron lens and a Kenko teleconverter and all that good stuff. <laughs> and the Nikon P1000, it's in the house at the moment. But I want to give some love here to the ADD. It's, I just love that camera. I love the new one too. And it would be perfect if, if it had this digital zoom in it, but <laughs> It doesn't. But I think I'll try to get a few more pictures here with the uh, Tamron lens on it. And see how well that goes. Anyway, there's not much else to see in our skies here. There's a lot of new people that have come over and have been asking about you know, show something else, but <laughs> there's not been much else to see in my sky here. I haven't been able to get Venus and Mars because for months now they've been in a daytime sky. So it probably won't be until, actually until January for me, once uh, for Venus, after the sun goes down and it'll be in the nighttime sky, but other people will be able to see it sooner but I have uh, houses in the way, so. I was checking the Sky Safari Pro app and it looks like sometime in January before I'd be able to see that. Yellow. <laughs> and for Mars, I might be able to see that in the uh, morning sky, probably, I don't know, maybe sometime in November. And by the time that happens, we're gonna lose uh, Saturn and Jupiter, so. They have been on a much different course than last year. Last year was fabulous. And that was when I lost uh, five terabytes of astrophotography. Oh my gosh. We had all four planets shown in the uh, evening sky right as the sunset. And that was just so cool. And then the few nights where we'd get the uh, moon also, we'd get all five of them. That was quite cool. 
this year they're on a different journey and there just hasn't been that much to uh, see around here so I know it's kind of repetitive what I'm showing each night and talking about each night but I'm a sky watcher you never know what's gonna pop up so it's fun to come out and have a look-see then go through the footage and say oh my gosh what the hell was that <laughs> trying to get the lagoon whoops trying to get the lagoon nebula in here I'm not doing too good tonight. Hmm. All right. Try to get the big dipper here. And by Jove, I think we did get it. It's really hard to do this because nothing's showing up on the monitor. So you take a picture and then <laughs> try to get something in the picture and then make adjustments and try to focus and all that good stuff. But yeah, the monitor's just black. Kids out yelling. Okay. <laughs> that should really do it. I could try to get something in the east, but all I saw are clouds. No, yeah, it's not a cloud, it's a tree. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alrighty, well, it's like there's a spotlight or something on it, and it was all washed up, and I thought it was a fluffy cloud over there. <laughs> Wrong. Oh, my. But that should do it. Um, I'll try stacking, but I don't think it's going to come out too well, not with the uh, stuff I have out here tonight. But anyway, Friday awaits, and so does the weekend. So I hope you're all doing well. You take care. Be safe now. It's now 8.33 p.m. up here. The Ohio Crickets, along with me, are going to wish you all a great night. Bye now.